Welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, in addressable fire alarms, several types of modules are used such as isolate module, monitor module, control module, zone monitor module. In today's video, we will learn about the control module and relay module, their working application and wiring connection along with an example. So in this video, we will learn what a control module and relay module are how they work with an example, what their function is, in which applications they are used and how their wiring connection is done and how it works. Let's start the video. Friends, many times in fire alarms, the control module is also known as the output module relay module. Both function to give an output signal to third party devices when a fire signal is received from the fire alarm panel. That is, in an addressable fire alarm system, if any third party device needs to be operated in a fire condition, then this module is used. Friends, both the control module and relay module work to give an output signal, but their working principles are different. So friends, what is the difference between the control module and the relay module? Let's see control module. Friends, a control module means control output, which is an output that provides power supply. When a fire signal is received from the fire alarm panel, a 24 volt DC power supply is received as output from the control module. Devices that usually operate on 24 volt DC, such as bell sounders or sound stops, are typically connected with the control module. When these devices are connected to the control module, a UR register is also attached to them. The UR register supervises the output circuit. That is, if there is an open or short circuit in the wiring between the control module and devices, an indication of a fault appears in the system. Friends, the control module provides a supervision output. Control module requires an external 24 volt DC power supply. So friends, let's look at the working of the control module with an example. Friends, in many companies, addressable fire alarms do not have low power sound. We cannot connect conversion sound directly in the loop. Then the conversion sounder is connected to the addressable fire alarm via the control module. The sounder also receives a unique address. Here, look, an addressable fire alarm system has been installed. The conversion sounder A is connected to the addressable fire alarm system with the control module. When a fire event occurs, a signal is received by the fire alarm panel from the detector. And from the fire alarm panel, a signal is sent to the control module reactivating the sounder. So friends, this is how the control module works. So now let's see what a relay module is which is also called an output module. Friends, a relay module means a relay output which is a potential free output. When a fire signal is received in the fire alarm panel, a potential free output, common, normally open and normally close is received from the relay module. The relay module is used to trigger these systems that need to be active in an alarm condition such as lifts, pressure, fans, access control, PI systems and BM systems etc. The important point to note is that no UR register is attached to the relay module because this output is non-supervised. That means its wiring is not supervised. Moreover, the relay module does not require any external 24 volt DC power supply because it only provides dry contact. So friends, Let's see how the relay module works. Friends, buildings have lifts, exhaust fans, PI systems and BMS. When a fire event occurs, these devices need to be controlled or turned on off. Then a relay module is used to connect third party devices with the addressable fire alarm. Here look, an addressable fire alarm system has been installed and the relay module is connected with the lift panel, PI system exhaust fan controller. Because the relay module is only for triggering, we cannot directly apply any load to it. 
detect when a fire event occurs, the detector sends a signal to the fire alarm panel and the fire alarm panel sends a signal to the relay module activating the lift PI system and exhaust fan. So friends, this is how the relay module works. So now we will see what the key function of the control module and relay module is. First, addressability. The control module and relay module are assigned a unique address in the fire alarm system. The panel decides based on this address which device should be active at which location, allowing us to provide output with precise location. Second, advanced programming output. The panel is programmed with which device should be active during which event, known as cause and defect logic. When the panel receives a fire signal, it decides which module will be activated. Then the board sends a command to this module according to its address. The module changes the relay or turns the voltage on or off according to this command. For example, there is programming where the zone, the zone receiving the fire signal should have its sound on. And after a verified time, the sound should be on for all zones. So friends, advanced programming is done in the panel. Second, if it is a theater, the programming is such that a fire signal is received in the screen hall. The exhaust fan in that screen hall should be turned on. So in this way, we can also do advanced programming and activate the relay module and control module according to the programming. When you install a control module or relay module, here are some tips to keep in mind. First, always install the control module or relay module with or near the devices because a greater distance causes a voltage drop which affects performance. Second, when connecting sound with a control module, always install the resistor in the sound terminal for cable and sound supervision. Third, friends, the relay output of the relay module has voltage and current limitations. So whenever you connect third-party devices, connect them with specific device controllers or their panels. This means that the relay module is only for triggering, so the load should not be directly given to the module. Fourth, install the module in an ABS box or weatherproof enclosure, especially in industrial or outdoor locations. Fifth, install the module in a location where future maintenance or testing can be done easily. Six, all modules should be labeled on site such as lift relay 01 fan CTR0 so that they can be easily identified and maintained in the as-built wiring diagram and addressable mapping document because when we do cause and effect programming and perform maintenance in the future, this documentation becomes very useful. Friends, let's see in which applications the control module and relay module are used. Friends, the control module is used for bell, conventional sound convention, sound stove or flameproof sound. Because the control module gives a 24 volt DC output and the sound and belt operate on 24 volt DC and the control module does not have a dry contact. The relay module which is for the lift controller controls the lift when the fire alarm panel sends a signal to the relay module during a fire event causing all lifts to automatically move to the ground floor and lock. Second. Industrial motor sirens are used in large industrial areas to simultaneously alert all employees of danger. Then the relay module is used to connect the, the real motor siren to the addressable fire alarm, which turns on the siren when a fire signal is received. Third, pressure fan exhaust fan friends. In basements, assembly halls, theaters and closed buildings, exhaust fans are installed. During a fire event, when the fire alarm panel sends a signal to the relay module, the relay module turns on the exhaust fan to expel smoke and toxic gases and keep emergency exit paths clear. 
during a fire event. When the fire alarm panel sends a signal to the relay module, the relay module automatically unlocks the doors so that people can safely exit. In MCC BSN trip, we trip the MCC through the relay module to immediately shut down the main power line so that the fire does not spread further. To turn on the public announcement system, friends, when a fire event occurs, the fire alarm panel sends a signal to the relay module. Then the relay module sends a signal to the public addressable system. Then the public addressable system starts some pre-recorded messages or live alert announcements so that people can exit without panic. During an SVEC fire damper fire event, when the fire alarm panel sends a signal to the relay module, the relay module activates the fire damper to close the ventilation duct so that smoke does not spread to other areas. As soon as the fire alarm system is activated in the GSM dialer, the GSM dialer automatically sends calls or messages to alert the relevant people and security agencies. Through integration with the BMS via the relay module, the fire alarm system is connected to the building management system, allowing for simultaneous monitoring and control of other systems during a fire alarm, such as lights, air conditioners and fire dampers. Let's understand how the control module is wired to devices with the relay module and how it operates. We will understand this with a wiring diagram. Friends, now we will understand the wiring connection between the conventional sounder and the notifiers control module. Here we have taken the notifiers control module FCM1 control modules T1 and T2 terminals are connected to the fire alarm loop wiring. The cable coming from the conventional sounder is connected to the T7 and T6 terminals of the control module. An external power supply of 24 volts DC is provided to the T10 and T11 terminals of the control module which must have a power backup according NFPA 72. Conventional sounder has connections at the plus and minus terminals and the UR register also needs to be installed at the plus and minus terminals. The value of the UR register should be the one defined by the manufacturer. This UR register will indicate a fault in the control module if the cable between the devices and module is open or shorted. when a fire event occurs, the detector sends a signal to the fire alarm panel and the fire alarm panel sends a signal to the control module activating the sounder and displaying a red indication on the control module. Now friends, we will see how the wiring connection and working of the relay module are done. Friends, now we will understand the wiring connection between the exhaust fan and the notifiers relay module. Here we have taken the notifiers relay module FRM1. Control modules T1 and T2 terminals are connected to the fire alarm loop wiring. The relay modules T7 and T6 terminals are connected to the contactor of the exhaust fan from the SMPS. Friends, we have provided an industrial supply of 24 volts DC to the contactor because the relay module's output relay rating is 24 volts DC at 2 amperes. So here we don't need to provide any external supply to the relay module. Now friends, you can see there is currently no alarm signal. This means that the relay module is in normal condition and shows a green indication. But when a fire event occurs, the detector sends a signal to the fire alarm panel which then sends a signal to the relay module activating the contactor. Then the exhaust fan receives power supply through the contactor, turns on and the control module shows a red indication. Friends, this is how the relay modules work. If you found this video informative, Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more technical videos like this. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. See you in the next video. Until then, thank you.